Impossibilism is a Marxist theory and perspective on the emergence of socialism that stresses the limited value of political, economic, cultural and social reforms within a capitalist economy. It argues that the pursuit of such reforms is counterproductive because they stabilize and strengthen support for capitalism, thereby helping to ensure its continuation. Impossibilism holds that the pursuit of reforms should not be a major concern for socialists because such reforms are irrelevant, if not counterproductive, to the realization of socialism. Impossibilism insists that socialists should solely, or at the least, primarily, focus on structural changes, sometimes termed revolutionary changes, to society as opposed to advancing social reforms. Impossibilists argue that spontaneous revolutionary action is the only viable method of instituting the structural changes necessary for the construction of socialism. Impossibilism is thus held in contrast to reformist socialist parties that aim to rally support for socialism through the implementation of popular social reforms such as a welfare state and those who believe that socialism can emerge through gradual economic reforms implemented by an elected social democratic political party. Impossibilism is the opposite of possibilism and immediatism. Possibilism and immediatism are based on a gradualist path to socialism and a desire on the part of socialists to help ameliorate the social ills immediately through practical programs implemented by existing institutions such as labor unions and electoral politics, thereby de emphasizing the ultimate objective of building a socialist economy. As a result, socialists who embraced possibilism and immediatism sounded and acted little different from non socialist reformers. Impossibilist movements are also associated with anti Leninism in their opposition to both vanguardism and democratic centralism. <laughs> <laughs> Origins of the concept The concept of impossibilism though not the specific term, was introduced and heavily influenced by American Marxist theoretician Daniel de Leon on the basis of theory that de Leon generated before his interest in syndicalism began. It came to be focused especially on the question of whether socialists should take part in government and pursue policy reforms that benefited the working class under capitalism. At the Paris Congress of the Second International in 1900, those who favored entry into government with all the implied compromises called themselves possibilists. While those who opposed them those around Jules Geste, characterized them as political opportunists. Conversely, the revolutionary socialists who opposed ameliorative reforms and participation in existing governments were called impossibilists by their detractors because they allegedly sought the impossible by refusing to partake in the governing of capitalism. While not usually described as an impossibilist, Rosa Luxemburg opposed both reformism and vanguardism, taking the more classical Marxist perspective that revolution would be a spontaneous reaction to underlying material changes in the productive forces of society. According to Luxemburg, under reformism, capitalism is not overthrown, but is on the contrary strengthened by the development of social reforms. Topic. Basis in Karl Marx's work Karl Marx famously critiqued reformism and immediatist, possibilist goals advocated by modern social democrats in his address of the Central Committee to the Communist League 1850. Specifically, he argued that measures designed to increase wages, improve working conditions and provide welfare payments would be used to dissuade the working class away from socialism and the revolutionary consciousness he believed was necessary to achieve a socialist economy and would thus be a threat to genuine structural changes to society by making the conditions of workers in capitalism more tolerable through reform and welfare schemes. Topic: Impossibilist political organizations. Impossibilism was particularly popular in British Columbia in the early 20th century through the influence of E. T. Kingsley. Several members of Kingsley's Socialist Party of Canada SPC were elected to the British Columbia Legislature between 1901 and 1910. It is also said to be the basis of the theory and practice of the oldest existing British Marxist party, the Socialist Party of Great Britain SPGB, founded in 1904, and the International World Socialist Movement, though they reject this description. In the United States, the Deleonist Socialist Labour Party of America was viewed as impossibilist by its opponents, particularly those in the electorally oriented Socialist Party of America. 
A more self-consciously impossibilist organization emerged in 1920 as the Proletarian Party of America, an organization headed by the Scottish-born John Carriker which was directly influenced by the ideas of the SPGB and the SPC. In France, Jules Gueste and the French Workers' Party were accused of impossibilism. Topic. Political groups French Workers' Party Proletarian Party of America Social Democratic Federation Socialist Party of Great Britain Socialist Party of Canada Socialist Party of Canada WSM. Socialist Labour Party of America World Socialist Party Ireland. World Socialist Party of India Topic. See also Anti-Leninism Identity politics Libertarian possibilism Libertarian socialism Orthodox Marxism Possibilism Reformism Revolutionary socialism Revolutionary spontaneity Topic. Footnotes Topic. External links Impossibilism. Encyclopedia of Marxism, Marxists Internet Archive, Marxists.org slash retrieved October 16, 2010. Larry Gombone. The History of Canadian Impossibilism. Socialist History Project, socialisthistory.ca slash retrieved October 16, 2010.